my name is Arlene Rodriguez, and um, I'm from Gregorio Lupero in high school. I'm Anthony Sarsola. Hello, I'm Ms. Carla Mejia, and I'm from Gregorio Lupero. My name is Peter Lamphere. Uh, I'm a teacher at Gregorio Lupero High School here in Washington Heights. I teach mathematics and technology. My name is Jonas de Leon. I teach robotics, uh, mathematics, and aviation at Gregorio Lupero High School. We have here two components, a part integral part of STEM and, uh, and computer science. And one is the aviation program and the robotics. I've been in the robotics STEM for like three years and that's an amazing experience because you get to know other people that like are interested in the, in the subject and you kind of love it at the end of the year because you learn new experience that help you to to get to college and, and other things. The robotics is an amazing opportunity, especially for female students, to become familiar with um, uh, and experience what it is to become an engineer. Over the years here at Luperon, we've graduated a number of students who've been part of the robotics program. Many of them have gone on to study engineering and computer science and electronics at uh, various schools including City College, NYU, Carnegie Mellon. My name is Nicole. Um, I graduated from Gregorio Luperon uh, a year ago, so I'm basically a sophomore uh, now in college. I'm in NYU currently and I did the robotics club uh, for what seemed like three years in high school. It was definitely a life-changing experience. Um, I learned so much from my teachers. I learned so much from the program itself. And it definitely inspired me to be, um, to do the major I'm doing right now. I'm currently doing computer science and mathematics. The robotics has another component, another social component. We see students all the time uh, using their cell phones. Uh, so they are excellent consumers of, the, of technology. What we are trying to do is, again, change the paradigm. We want them to be, to, be, to be producers of technology. And so basically, in that one, we use the cell phones, as he was saying. Um, it's a different type of communication, and it's faster, and um, it's more um, efficient for us. So the next generation of whatever technology comes down the pipeline uh, is technology that our youth will be part of the, uh, of the creation. And that's the, trans the type of transformative education that we are trying to uh, uh, foster here at Luperon. Last year I had the opportunity to study in the robotics class, but not this year. So I think it's a great opportunity for students to like um, explore new things in technology. In general, I think the robotics program also gives students a sense of self-confidence and initiative and problem-solving skills that they can apply in any uh, set of endeavors that they in get involved in after graduation. I've been in the robotics team for a uh, long time since I was a freshman and what I can say about that is that it offered me a new opportunity to discover what I like uh, aside from the academic stuff. Like now I want to be an engineer thanks to the robotics team and also uh, I think the flight simulator is a great opportunity to learn something that you don't currently see in school, something that you are not gonna get the opportunity someday. Uh, so it's awesome to um, just get out of the box and learn something new. The second component of the STEM that I, that I direct is uh, the aviation program. We got a grant. So I am proud to announce that for the robotics labs, and the Aviation Training Center, the City of New York, will contribute an additional $2.5 million. We will use that money to buy actual simulators, and we will teach aviation in the class. One of the reasons why we decided to teach aviation at Gregorio Luperon High School is that there's going to be a strong need for pilots in the near future, and we want our students to be able to fill those positions. Um, the idea here is a student can leave the high school uh, very close to getting a private license uh, for, uh, for a private pilot, uh, but also to be able to teach mathematics, physics, 
and all the content area uh, through aviation. The, the metaphor here is uh, irresistible. Here we have uh, this place where we train people for the field of aviation. And it is a perfect, uh, a perfect image uh, reminding us that if we support our young people, we can literally teach them how to fly. We can teach them to reach for their dreams. We can teach them to go far beyond uh, all of our imaginations to great, great things.